What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm MLB Chatterbox. My name is Christian Corey, and we have a pretty cool video in store for you guys here today. Um, I'm going to be showing you one of my most valuable baseball collector's items, and that is a signed baseball by the Twins Hall of Famer, Harmon Killebrew. Yes, the killer. If you don't know who Harmon Killebrew is, I will tell you about him in just a sec. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys uh, this baseball that I got, tell you the story behind it, and I think it's pretty interesting. But first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the man who signed the baseball, the Hall of Famer, Harmon Killebrew. Alrighty, guys. I want to let you guys know the information I'm giving you here today is all pretty valid. It's from the National Baseball Hall of Fame official website. So this is accurate information. Um, so, Harmon Killebrew. Harmon Clayton Killebrew. Inducted to the Hall of Fame in 1984 as a Minnesota Twin. His primary position was a first baseman, although he played outfield as well. Um, and it says Harmon Killebrew was one of the most feared sluggers of the 1960s. And when he retired in 1975, he had accumulated more home runs than any right-handed batter in American League history. Said former Washington Senators player manager, and coach, Ozzy Belugi. I do believe he said he hit line drives that put the opposition in jeopardy. And I don't mean infielders, I mean outfielders. It was on the high school baseball fields of the small Midwestern town of Payet, Idaho, where Killebrew was discovered by the Senators, the Washington Senators, in 1954. The 17-year-old slugger signed with the club for a large bonus, and the rules of the day dictated that the team had to keep the youngster on the Major League roster for at least two years or risk losing him to another team. So different rules back then. You had to keep the guy if you wanted him. In 1959, at the age of 23, Killebrood had a breakout year at the hot corner, hitting an American League best 42 home runs, to go with 105 runs batted in. He was named to the first two of his 13 All-Star games that year. And that doesn't sound right, but okay. Also, it says, over the course of his 22-year big league career, Killebrew put together eight 40 home run seasons and 44 multiple home run games. He led the league, the American League, in home runs six times walks four times, and RBIs three times. He led the Twins to the postseason three times, including in 1969 when he was named the American League MVP. Although he was known as a killer at the plate, Harmon Killebrew was a gentle and quiet man off the field. And when he was asked what he liked to do for fun, he once replied, well, I like to wash dishes, I guess. The former Twins Public Relations Director, Tom Mee, once said of Killebrew, he is one of the finest individuals in the major leagues. To know Harmon Killebrew is to be a Killebrew fan. Killebrew was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1984, and he passed away on May the 17th, 2011. So obviously there's some background information of who Harmon Killebrew is. Now I will cut to uh, me showing you guys the baseball, and I hope you guys enjoy the story behind it. And I hope you guys enjoy uh, me telling you a little bit about how I got this very special and very uh, unique uh, baseball signed by the Twins Hall of Famer, Harmon Killebrew. Enjoy. Alrighty guys, here's a baseball here in this case. And I'm going to take it out of the case for a first time in a very long time. So, here's the certificate of authenticity right here. There's a signature right there, and there's a Harmon Killebrew signing it. He signed it in uh, Washington, D.C. There's who it was witnessed by. Uh, he signed it on October the 21st, uh, 2000, I do believe, zero, zero, almost 20 years ago, 21 years ago. So, so there is the certificate of authenticity right there. Helps the value go up tremendously if you know anything about... Um, you know, memorabilia, whether it's baseball, football, hockey, soccer, basketball, whatever it is, anything that has a certificate of authenticity like this um, goes up in value. Um, 
So that's really cool. And here's a ball itself. I gotta be really careful with this thing. Now, it's a very, very delicate um, signature there. You can see it. See, it kind of the H is kind of fading. I mean, it's been since, you know, 2000, so 20, like 21 years or something. So um, this is the ball here, Harmon Killer Brew in pen. This is a pretty cool ball. And the story behind it is really kind of interesting on um, how I actually got this ball. So I'm going to put the ball back down here. And I'm going to kind of just tell you guys how I got this ball. Okay, guys. So I'm, I'm doing this on my ping pong table so because it's bigger and there's more room. So, yeah. But, yeah. And you can see kind of over there, over my shoulder, that's another special item that I have that I might show you guys in the near future. Again, I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but I hope you guys enjoy this. But, okay. So <laughs> the story of how I got this baseball is... Pretty funny, actually. So, when I was in high school, I believe it was senior year, if I'm not mistaken. I was senior year. So, I was in this study hall class. We had study hall back then. And I was in this class, and for me, like, I was done with my homework. I didn't want to do anything. And... I just wanted to leave. I was wanted to leave to go home like really fast. And at my school, public school, they're really stingy on like, you can't leave before the bell rings and all that stuff. So anyways, so <laughs> I end up leaving a couple times uh, early, like five minutes early, like walking to the bus. So, um, or walking to my car or whatever it was. And I walked like left class early, left class early, like five minutes early. And my teacher at the time got mad at me and I did it again and she got mad at me again so she said that she was going to call the principal or something so she called the principal and his name was Mr. Downham and he went brought me in his office and he said like so hey Christian like you know why are you leaving class early and at the time it was spring and I and I said well I wanted to catch Tigers game and blah, 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 and I'm, I got, you know, I'm trying out for high school baseball, and I got to do that, it was like springtime, I think, and he's like, oh, you like baseball, I'm like, yeah, I like baseball, and he's like, what's your favorite team, I'm like, the Tigers, you know, he's like, oh, yeah, he says, uh, you know a lot about baseball, I said, yeah, I know my fair share, and he's like, but I bet you don't know, uh, you know, what 1919 means, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, in my mind, trying to, like, answer this question, because I know I know it, 1919, 1919, I'm thinking of the year 1919. What does 1919 mean in my head? And I said, oh, Black Sox, Black Sox. And he's like, like really impressed, like, wow, the Black Sox, you know about that. I said, oh, yeah, you know, Shoeless Joe Jackson and eight, you know, eight men out and, you know, how they were, you know, fixed the series against the Reds. And I told him the whole story. And he was like shocked that... I knew this, you know, I was probably, you know, whatever I was at the time, 18, um, whatever I was, 18, 19. So, so in the midst of this, you know, discussion, I am, you know, discussing with him, uh, you know, this baseball stuff. And I'm in his office for a good, like, 20 minutes, and I'm supposed to get a detention. Um, so I'm talking about baseball, Tigers, Black Sox, doing the whole spiel. And like, and in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm getting out of this. I am 110% getting out of this, this detention or whatever I'm going to get. So it's like, again, this is sixth period and this is the end of class, end of the day. And I'm like, okay, yeah, thanks, Mr. Don. I'm cool to talk to you. I'm like, is there anything I should, is there not anything you're going to do to me? And he's like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, here's your uh, detention slip. And I'm thinking to myself, thanks, dude. I, I appreciate that point is i go i serve my detention and then a couple like a, maybe a week later i'm in that same six hour period and i'm sitting there nothing to do i'm bored it's like end of class he comes at the end of class again and he says um christian in my office now okay i'm thinking to myself great this is great like again what did i do i didn't leave early i didn't do anything what did i do brings me in the office he sits me down he says 
So, how do you like our discussion last time when we talked about baseball? I said, oh, it was nice until you gave me the detention. And he's like, well, you know, well, I think I got something for you to kind of like make it up. And I said, oh, yeah, what's that? And he says, I got this ball here. And, and he shows me this ball. He says, you know who that is? And I said, in my mind, I saw the H. I'm thinking Hank Aaron. Like, I just saw the big H um, initially. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, this is Hank Aaron. There's no way in heck he's going to give this to me. So and initially, I, said, I thought Hank Aaron. And he says, you know who this is? And he's like, he played with the Twins in the 60s. I'm like, Twins, 60s, Twins. He's like, I said, Harmon Killebrew. Yeah, the killer. And he's like, yeah, that's right. He's like, you know, I've had this ball for a while. Would you like to have it? And I'm like, sure. He's like, I'm going to give it to you. So <laughs> he gave me this ball, this Harmon Killebrew signed baseball, right on the sweet spot, a beautiful, a beautiful signature. Um, certificate of Authenticity, which is very rare for people who know the uh, collecting world. Um, but very rare that any sort of memorabilia has a certificate of authenticity along with the ball or whatever item that is. And, and it was just like, wow. So I go from a detention, okay, I go from a detention to like a week later getting a signed baseball gifted to me from my principal, uh, assistant principal. And I was like, wow, this is cool. So I, I remember uh, on the bus ride home, um, I like had it in my, in my backpack. I didn't have my backpack. I kept it out. I was like, no, I, I can't touch this. I like, I was so afraid to drop this ball on the way home. Cause again, didn't have the case, wasn't wrapped in anything, just had the ball. And it was like, kind of like, you know, not that great weather. It wasn't like sunny out or anything. It was like snowy, rainy. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I had to walk home. Um, not that far, but you still got to walk home with this ball and like, A, don't drop it. B, don't smudge it. C, get it to the case as fast as you possibly can. I remember when I called my dad on the way home, uh, he's like, really? He's like, no. He's like, it can't be Harmon Killebrew. No. He's like, he's like, no way. And he saw it. He's like, wow. And I just thought it was a pretty cool thing to show you guys. I don't know. I think I thought it was a pretty cool story. Um, I mean, what person do you know that gets a signed baseball uh, from anybody, let alone a Twins Hall of Famer, uh, a slugger in Killebrew the Killer, um, from their assistant principal after they got detention from him. I don't know. It's just kind of cool how baseball works, isn't it? Uh, you know, baseball guys stick together. That's what I'm talking about. You got to stick together. So, uh, yeah, that's my kind of my Harmon Killebrew story. Um, how I got this baseball signed by Harmon Killebrew with certificate of authenticity baby that by the way guys i just wanted to also give you uh an idea of what the ball is actually worth um so i looked it up online on ebay i try to look at robert edwards auctions which is a very famous auction website that they sell off a lot of baseball memorabilia baseball cards baseball signed baseballs bats whatever you name it they sell it on there i did not find a Harmon killebrew signed baseball for what it sold on Robert Edwards auctions. But when I looked it up online, it says this Harmon Killebrew autograph sample signed on a ball is authenticated by PSA and DNA. A Harmon Killebrew single signed baseball is worth about 75 to hundred dollars. A Harmon Killebrew signed photo is worth about $50. So the ball's worth from about 75 to hundred dollars now, if you go on eBay, there's people who are also selling it for their price. Again, probably not expertise behind it, probably not authenticated, some of them, but mine does have authentication, a certificate of authenticity like you saw. So I'm looking here, one says 64, one says 89, one says 103, one says about 100, one says about 130, it says Hall of Famer on it, 1984. Maybe that's why it's 130, he said HOF on it and he put 84, mine does not have that. Another 89 with HOF, 
84 on it, 53. So you get the idea. The evaluation from the internet is about right, according to what these people are selling it for online. About 50 to $100. I mean, you know, he was in the 60s with the Twins. He's not like he's with the Yankees um, or anything like that, although he's a Hall of Famer, obviously. He's not probably well known outside of people in Minnesota and Twins fans. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a quick evaluation of how much the ball is worth and how much it's going for online. Again, this is not based off of any real auction sites or anything like that. Um, this is just based off of my quick uh, couple minute uh, lookup on the internet of how much this ball is going for. Again, mine has certificate of authenticity, so that could up the value. I'm not sure if any of these do. Some do, some do not. So I just wanted to show you kind of the price point of this ball. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed my little story on how I got this Harmon Killebrew signed baseball from my uh, assistant principal in high school after getting a detention. And yes, detention is not that bad. It's actually pretty boring, just like that six-hour period. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll do more stuff like this. If you want to know uh, what's over there behind me over there, um, comment down below, like this video, share this video. Uh, subscribe if you have not. I don't know where I'm at right now because I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. But hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe as always. And I will catch you later.